And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. A horse racing game is nothing new. There's been many of them that have come out. But I can say definitively at the beginning of this uh, review that this is by far my favorite horse racing game that I've played. It's tremendously fun. There's a lot of betting and wagering and just ridiculous over-the-top uh, changes in luck and fortune. The artwork is hideous, but grows on you. It's actually pretty funny after a while. And there's lots of special abilities, lots of different things going on. It might be too complex, perhaps, although there is a very simple family game included. Uh, but for the most part, I found myself playing this time and time and time again. People come over and say, hey, let's try a horse fever because it's just that fun of a game. Here's the game board, and basically the racetrack looks like a drag racing uh, track rather than a horse racing, but there's three different games included with this. There's a party game, which is simply trying to get your horse to get to the end first. There's the family game, which allows you to bet on horses, but takes out most of the special ability cards that are here. Then there's the full game. Now, all, full, all games have ten turns, but I'll tell you right now, I play with a house rule five turns max, because the game is just as much fun and goes in a shorter time frame. Ten turns will take two plus hours. That's ridiculous. This is more of an hour game or so. Now, all the games use a, the horse race, and I'm just going to quickly explain how that works. As you can see down over here, there's a smaller board, and this board here shows you the current odds for each of the horse. They're very simple odds, 1 to 2, 1 to 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. At the beginning of the game, the odds are determined randomly. And the way a race works is simply you turn over one of these cards and place it here, and it shows you how far each horse moves. So you can see here, for example, the top four horses move two, the bottom two move one. Now that changes depending on the card. Sometimes the, the horse with the highest odds does not move the fastest, but the randomness, the odds are that those horses are going to move faster. Now, so you move the horses on the track after you turn over one of those cards. So let's say the horses move like this, depending. Then somebody rolls two dice. And whatever two colors are rolled, for example, here is yellow and white, each of those goes forward an extra space. And so there's that luck involved in the game, too. That's the basic horse racing. But what makes the game more fun, and so lots of fun, is at the beginning of each round of the game, you have a chance to buy different cards over here. This is in the full game. You can buy event cards, cards that you can play on horses, which can do different things. For example... This horse has a ball and chain. He won't move at all on the very first time when the horses come out the gate. This horse, whenever a die is rolled, he moves one less. Uh, you, there's also good events that you can play on horses. Those are a one-time race only. You can also buy uh, these contracts, which will allow you to take money off when you buy other things. They, they're basically a way to get more money. You can buy targets. These are things that will get you things uh, points at the end of the game. Here, whoever has the most money at the end of the game, if you're holding this card and you have the most money, you get two victory points. You can also buy a horse, which can be placed in one of the spots on the board, and that will give that horse a permanent special ability, or sometimes a permanent uh, non-special ability. But for example here, this horse here, uh, at the end of a race, when he goes across the finish line, he will go an extra two spaces, and if there's ever a photo finish where two horses cross at the same time, he always wins. And so you buy these different things. You can buy some of the horses, too. Rather than just betting on the horses, you can buy them. At the beginning of the game, each person gets a special card. Uh, you can take out loans from either the mafia or the bank. Either way, if you don't pay back the loan by the end of the game, you lose. So at the beginning of a round, you buy those. Then you bet on horses. You can see over here there are different tokens. You can bet on a horse to win, in which case they'll get your odds. For example, if you bet on the one to six horse to win and you bid $1,000, you'll get 6000 back. Or you can bet on the horse to place to come in the top three. Any horse that you bet on the place simply gets you double your money. But you also get victory points. You can see victory points back here. If you bet on a horse to win, and he wins, you get three victory points. If you bet on a horse to place, and he does, you get one victory point. So 
there's different ways to get points. You can also buy and sell points with money. And there's, there's more rules involved with the game. But mostly that's what it is. The races are very exciting. Especially when you see someone has cobbled your horse. Or really helped out a horse that you thought was going to lose. And it's a very exciting game. At the end of the rounds, whoever has the most points, not money, whoever has the most points is the winner. There are some negatives about the game. As I said, 10 turns is too long. The game doesn't give you nearly enough money or victory points for that matter. Uh, although I don't like paper money anyway and it just substitute poker chips. But those are minor quibbles. The, the, the one quibble that might turn some people off is that there's symbols in all the cards. You can look up the, the rules come with a description of what every special card does and such. And after you've done it, two or three races, you know what all the cards do. But at the beginning you'll see sheets passed around. What exactly does this mean? But be that aside, the family game's fun. The party game's okay, but the family game's fun. But the full game is a blast. It's a lot of fun. I have yet to have anybody dislike it. Some people aren't very good at betting. You can lose all your money <laughs> on a, what you thought was a sure thing. But to me, that makes the game absolutely amazing. There's laughter. Every race, people are sitting there, clenched, watching the horses, hoping their horse comes in first. And nobody is going broke and going home afterwards and explaining to their wife why they lost all their money. So you can have the fun of the horse races here uh, in a box. Hey, I think it's worth it. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.